what's happening YouTube what's going on everybody well yesterday marked my halfway point with my hypo salinity treatment with these fish and uh, it went by rather quickly because I'm always fiddling with this tank because hypo salinity is pretty hard to maintain as you as I've said in the past salinity levels have stayed pretty solid and that's probably because I do a water change every day do about a 20 percent water change every day uh, it's the pH that really is difficult to maintain so I'm at the four week mark 29 days exactly today yesterday was 28 so we're halfway home uh, fish are doing well the only issue that I have is my one coral beauty and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them. This one right here is starting to lose a little coloration which made me really nervous initially. But he's still eating very well and the clowns still have great color. The flame angel and the other coral beauty still have really good color. Uh, I did some research on the internet and uh, it could be a nutritional thing. I've been feeding them the New Life Spectrum pellets, but that's all I've been feeding them. And you gotta feed your angels a variety. They need some of their veggies. And they gotta eat all their veggies just like my kids. So uh, I started that today. I just completely spaced it because there's so many other things going on with this quarantine tank. So he's losing a little bit of color, not terrible, but definitely not as vibrant as he once was. So four weeks down, uh, the, these fish should be completely free of ick at this point at 28 days. With all the water changes I've been doing, the ick cycle should have been broken, at least in this tank. So all these fish should be ick free. What I'm waiting for now is the display tank. Since they were in my main display, oh look at the condi. Coming out looking lovely. Looking really good. Anyway, since the ick broke out in my main display, I'm waiting an extra 28 days to uh, before I add the fish back because the marine ick can insist for up to 60 days. It's been recorded. And you know how it is, life will find a way, it'll adapt. So just to be sure, I'm gonna keep them in here another four weeks, three weeks at uh, 1.009 specific gravity, then I'll start raising it in the last week. Oh, there you can see the, the faded color on my Coral Beauty now. A little bit anyway, compared to the other one back there who's got like some great blues and stuff on them. The, the flame angel still has great color. Uh, I'm just hoping it's a nutritional thing and not just them getting tired of being in hypo salinity and need like a normal environment. But we're gonna keep it going the four week, extra weeks just to make sure that the marine ick is out of this system because if there's any in, insisted ick in the substrate uh, once it hatches it only has 48 hours to find a fish and uh, if it doesn't find a fish then it's gonna perish so we're gonna wait that extra time just to be safe uh, gonna be extra cautious from here on out but just wanted to report on my hypo salinity the pH has been the only thing oh here's a great story for y'all so I know I said in my last video that I wasn't gonna worry about the pH but I wig about things you know and it was low and it, I was just stressing about it so I decided that I was gonna drip uh, sodium carbonate I had my little drip system down there but I was gonna drip sodium carbonate so I just got done tinkering with my tanks I start a drip it's dripping every 30 seconds I'm getting a drop right all of a sudden my youngest boy my four-year-old breaks his arm he comes to me and he's got a broken arm so in a panic I scoop them up and I drive to the hospital forgetting that I left the drip going. I only wanted to drip roughly five milliliters. I ended up dripping over a hundred milliliters. 
a lot. I, I have, that's a 1.5 liter bottle and I probably did a quarter of it. Almost 250 milliliters, you know, 300. I tested right away. I was freaking out because, you know, I was well in the 8.8 .8 range. But uh, I didn't do any water changes. I didn't do anything until that pH gradually came down on its own. And luckily, the fish survived it. I thought they were goners. I thought they were dead. But uh, that was the hardest part of this, is that I forgot I left the drip line going, scooped up my boy, and we were out. But four more weeks, four more weeks, and they're gonna be in the brand new home. And it's looking good. Tank is looking great. Uh, Condi and Enemy is finally settling. He's been there now for about a week. I kind of hope he stays there. You know, he's been slowly creeping up this rock over here, just slowly creeping up, and now he's settled there. He actually just came out. What's really weird about this Condi and Enemy is that he'll sneak back in there in the rocks at night and in the morning, and I think he's dead, I worry about him, and then the next thing you know, he's poking out looking for some food. So, so far so good with everything. Just wanted to give a hypo salinity update. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll catch you all next time.